Welcome to TradeTheMBI.com. This is John. This report is for the 10th of May. And, well, there it was for the S&P, the break above the uh, 50%. And um, pretty much was a straightforward day. We started out with uh, the rise. We were heading towards the 50 and uh, we kind of were just stuck there for a little while, but then broke out cleanly. Um, this is still consistent with the rising red, rising green above red. Um, it's not much short-term buyer support at this particular point with the fading, but uh, you don't have any short activity uh, It's really, you know, causing a strain, so to speak. NQ, you can see it's clearly now broken out past the previous peak, which is something that you don't see from the ES. So when you see that comparison, also it's above the 61%. So here's that previous comparison right here. We're just getting to it uh, on the ES or the S&P versus the NASDAQ has already broken out past it, which we saw something that was uh, taking place a uh, while back when it was uh, doing much better. Uh, on retraces and everything else and uh, certainly shakeouts better the, the DOCs are very similar not overbought by any stretch uh, I know the other these talk about these famous shorts with these hedge funds and stuff but uh, they've clearly gotten it wrong for most of it the euro just filling in uh, the remainder of these positive extremes from way back at the beginning of the year because yes they still hold on to that uh, value depending on how broad a term trader is the only thing we don't really get identified in the extreme is uh, what the time frame of the individual only that they've started at you know these key uh, points of the positive extremes for uh, their initial breakouts and we don't know how much they want from their breakout uh, at least I haven't been able to determine that one with any degree of certainty yet uh, what we do know from the euro is, look at that, this dips below the extreme, even this uh, slight improvement uh, has the euro pretty much decimated. And uh, I don't think it's going to help with the Iranian tensions, rising oil. Um, that's all going to be attracting uh, dollar denominational trade here. Uh, and you can see bonds suffering from that, or at least TLT, the ETF version of it uh, already dipping below the red line, which is interesting to have it up that high relative to the dip that we were expecting down here in the 117 range. But it'll get there. And of course, oil breaking out under the tensions, Israel, Iran bombing each other, relatively speaking, through Syria proxy. Um, Still no guarantee that their escalation there is going to affect oil uh, supplies or anything. But what is interesting is the, the sanctions part of it uh, from the U.S. standpoint going to take place uh, later in the year uh, certainly could have a significant impact. And, of course, uh, you would think that gold would spike on that news and it's unable to move with all this activity in the extreme here. Uh, you can kind of tell when you look at that and you know that there's a little manipulation going on with that factor of it. So here's what we started out with. We had the early breakout. We started to retrace this. This was a good one here because as it started to break down, um, I was talking to some people, we got right around this 50% number on extreme oversold. Well, when that happens in your mid run, as soon as you get a buy signal, it doesn't even need to be the uh, the secondary dip. That's a, a go in my book, particularly if it's right at 50%. Um, and sure enough, it just took off. Um, did have some questions about the big D here. This one is uh, kind of interesting setup here where it's um, taking moves below 50% as shorts. Uh, I just haven't worked out the exit. Uh, lower portion of it. I'll be working on that one uh, today. But uh, that will help in the pink color establishment. The same with the long side. Uh, we'll do the same thing where it will uh, it just helps define which are the most profitable sections. Even with this as it is um, you have more losers than winners but the winners are so big because of the downdrafts uh, that it overcomes them and it's kind of a break-even setup uh, because I haven't uh, established uh, when I have a clear bicycle that's going to move to the upside to take the uh, gain before it returns back to the 50 so it works if you have an extended run um, not so great on uh, just simple uh, 
sideways moves. And of course, you never know what's going to be sideways until it's sideways, and you don't know which ones are going to move until they move. So, uh, except for we can kind of see that when we get... Uh, uh, in these particular cases, it's always good having the um, moves of the orange above. But in this particular case, uh, you know that when you're in a trend run day, you're going to have to have a significant breakdown, meaning lower shakeout highs, and even in this case, uh, the dip of the magenta below, and then your DOC spread. And uh, when those all came together, is when it finally broke down. And now I mean, it was a tiny little breakdown. And again, same situation. So same thing here with the dip below the red line, dip below the red line right at the 76%. And sure enough, that led to what a return right back to the high. So. Um, it's not rocket science, except for the math inside of it, that other than just looking at uh, what you have to do when you have that kind of oversold that high up, you know that uh, you're going to start finding some support to it. Uh, there's a couple of occasions where they do break down, but usually at that point you have a very strong uh, short indications from uh, collapsing red and green uh, kind of situation that really plummet as opposed to just a nice clean. This didn't even break to oversold with the red. Uh, Green got there, but that was about it. And then turn right around, and then of course, always bullish here with that uh, dip of the below the negative uh, 6.25 with the cyan, and that usually stays triggered until you get the steel cross, uh, or in this particular case, uh, that didn't last very long. So the tendency of that bull setup has uh, faded pretty quick. That's the long and the short of it, and uh, still uh, everything's looking good. Wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a retrace into some of these late positive extremes. So that goes all the way to uh, right about this area of the 2682. So that would be pretty significant and expected uh, from what we're seeing to get that uh, filled just yet. But always worth keeping that in the notes, so you've got it uh, ready to go. As always, trade well, though, and I will put up uh, charts in between programming. Trade well.